Shalom. I want to start by giving all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh Hashem Shah, double honor to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone. And I'd like to say shalom to the elect, the um the two, the uh the hundred and forty-four thousand, um, the men, witch, and children, you know, that Yahweh Hashem Shah is gonna have mercy on. Um and I would like to say Barakata Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Barakata Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Barakata Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Barakata Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And uh, this is a little lesson about, um, right now, Donald Trump just basically fulfilled prophecy for what he's trying to do. He's trying to get rid of, uh, what's this shit called? Welfare and um, food stamps. So, and, you know, that's prophesied in the scriptures, man, because our people are living comfortably. And they trusting in this man, they trusting in his system. The same people that smoke them, you know, they trusting in them because they don't, they, our people have been brought unto, under subjection under their hand, man. Our people are under subjection, man. They are fucking, I don't know, I don't know what to say, man. Like, they are just, they have been let off. They don't been brought so far into subjection. They don't even know their old paths no more. They just rely on him for everything. And he, he don't like these people. He don't like us. He hate us. You know? And But he has brought our people under subjection up under his hand. Like Yahweh said, you know, that I will give you to the hand of your enemies and you shall be brought into subjection under their hand. And that's exactly what happened. You know? Our people have been brought into subjection under their enemy's hand. And now they're depending on, on him for everything. Instead of their power, Yahweh Hashem So this is Isaiah 10 and 22. Uh, for though thy people Israel be as the sanders... Well, actually, let me start at 21. The remnant shall even... No, Slocky, I'm going to just start at 20. And it shall come to pass in that they said... That the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote him. And that's the way same people our people are doing, man. They they staying upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. And so most of our people are doing that. The one the two thirds of the ones that still lost, man. This is twenty one. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty power. 22, for though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall remain. The consumption decreed, decreed shall over, overflow with righteousness. So Yahweh Shemiah Shah is only going to leave a certain amount of his people left, man. And this scripture right here focused really on the women. Isaiah 3, and I'm going to start at 16, I believe 16, yeah. Uh, moreover, Yahweh said, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with outstretched, with stretched forth necks and woe in eyes, walking and mincing as they go and making a tingling with their feet. That's what these women do, man. That's what our women do. That's what our women do, man. They, uh, they walk with outstretched necks, man. And they have untamed eyes, woe in eyes, uh, I believe that's that woke in eyes is in a sexual sense that, that they like when they see a man they like like lust is after him. Um, I'm not sure though. Uh, let me look at look it up just for edification's sake. Um, Blue letter Bible. Salakia, I found it. 
floats it. Okay. That's not really giving no good definition. To Abgal. Be woten. Argaling. To Argal. To blink. Consequently. Come. Not used in calm. To look. To make. To make the eyes look around as done by women and unputed women. Isaiah 3 and 16. Others render it painted eyes. Paint which do not suit the context. Um, let me search it on Google. Wotan. I want to get a clear definition of it. Wanton eyes. Not Wotan. Wanton. Wanton definition. Of cruel or violent action, deliberate and unprovoked, deliberate, un willfully, mischievous, mis malicely, malicely, ah, I just can't say that word right, milius, wicked, cruel, especially of women, sexually immodest. Yeah, so this is how they be have. They be having woe in eyes, a sexual immodest or pre premius woman, play. Behaving in a sexual, immodest, or promiscuous way. Immortal, indecent, shameless, unchaste, fast, loose, impure, abandoned, lustful. That's a good word. So these women have lustful eyes, whorish eyes, sexually immodest eyes. So that's how they look. That's how they walk, man. They have sexually immodest eyes. When they see a man, they just lust after him. They have lustful eyes. Um, it's like you. Yeah. Uh, but um, walking and mixing as they go and making a tingling with their feet. Therefore, the Yahweh will smite thee with a scab, the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. And Yahweh, the Lord, will discover thy secret parts. And the day, the, in that day, Yahweh will take away the bravery bravery and their tingling ornaments about their feet and their cow cows and their round tires like the moon the chains and the bracelets and the mufflers the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the brace and the tablets and the earrings the rings and the nose jewels the changeable suits of apparel and the mint the mantles and the whimpers I mean whimplays and the Crisping pins, the glasses, and the fine lining, and the hoods, and the veils. And it shall come to pass that instead of a sweet smell, there should be a be stink. And instead of a girdle of rent, and instead of a girdle, a rent. And instead of well set hair, baldness. And instead of a stomacher, or a girdle of sackcloth, and burning instead of a beauty. Thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty men in war. And her gates shall lament and mourn, and she, being desolate, shall sit upon the ground. So these women, these men that they are with, these wicked men, they're going to be dead. So eventually, you know, they're going to either find a man of Yahweh Hashem or they're going to die also if Yahweh Hashem wants them to die. So it's all according to Yahweh Hashem and his will. So this is Isaiah 32, and I'm going to start at... Uh, I'm gonna start at nine. After coming, rise up, raise up, ye women that are at ease, cause our women are at ease. They don't have no problem. They don't have no worries. And now that Trump finna get rid of food stamps and welfare, they finna lose their damn minds. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled. Your careless women, you ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. And the gathering shall not come. So what is a gathering? What these women, they get food stamps. They get welfare. They get money. They get a check and shit. That's going to fail, man. That section 8 and all that shit, that's going to fail. It's not going to come. So these women are going to be out here losing their minds to get whatever. They're going to be trying to make some money to feed their kids. So they're going to be trying to sell it. They're going to be selling pussy, selling um, they, uh little stank coochie just to get a couple dollars, man. And they, they, this is the time we're coming in, man. These women finna be tricking off for some damn money. 11. 
Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Tr be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare, and gird cyclops upon your loins. They shall lament for the treats, teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Where at? And that's that's all I wanted to get. Actually, I should have stopped at 11, the 11th verse. Okay, I got that, I got that. Okay, because our people have been trusting in this system for so long, and you know, they don't, it's, it's, it don't, they don't got adapted to it. They, they, they depend on their oppressors, man. They depend on their oppressors to uh, do care for them. Just like you know, Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, he cared for us. He he provided for us. We really didn't have to do nothing for ourselves. He provided everything for us. And now that that power has been stripped away from us, we just basically leeching off these other nations. That's what we doing. That's what our people do. They leech. We are leeches, man. But Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, we ought to leech off him, cleave unto him. That's who we supposed to leech on, basically. We supposed to cleave unto him. This is Jeremiah 17 and 5. Therefore, thus said Yahweh, Cursed be the man that trusted in man and make it flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from Yahweh. And the reason why I pulled that scripture is because our people trust in man. They don't trust in a higher power. They don't trust in an unlimited power source, man. Why would you want to trust in a man? Then I mean, why would you want to trust in a man or trust in an, an unlimited power source? I mean, that's like unlimited Wi-Fi, man. A limited power source, man. That's our power. Yahweh Shemal Shah, he can do anything. And he has all the power in heaven and earth. Verse 7. Blessed is the man that trusted in Yahweh and who hope Yahweh is. So, the scripture says, blessed is that man that trusted in Yahweh. You know, because that's all we ought to do. We ought to trust in that higher power. That man, Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, him and his son. That's what we're supposed to trust in. You know, welfare finna be cut off, food stamp finna be cut off, these women finna be selling pussy. Um, these women finna be out here selling some coochie just to get some dollars around. And it's finna be sad out here, man. And these bitches gonna die. And these men gonna die. Two thirds gonna die. You know, it's, uh, like I said in Isaiah 20, a remnant shall remain. So. With that, I hope y'all was edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. And I would like to say, call hello Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Because this is the times of prophecy, man. It's the time of prophecy. Our people is finna uh, be destroyed. And Esau finna be destroyed also, you know. And our people that trust in Esau finna be destroyed. Um, I want to get this preset real quick. This is... Uh, Second address 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, and which I will put in thy mouth, said Yahweh. So that's the precept I wanted to grab, because that's what we ought to do. We ought to speak prophecy in the ears of our people. Hmm. I'm trying to see what what one which verse I want to start at. Uh in second address, the ninth chapter. I might just read 1 through 9. Yeah, I'm going to read 1 through 9. This is 2nd Edges 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the, the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time where the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And that time is coming, man. And he and he's going to visit America and this earth. And you know he going he already know the wickedness is that going here, so he come in to execute judgment upon the wicked. This is verse three. Therefore, when there shall, shall I, when they shall, there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of people in the world. Verse four. Then shall thou be up understand. Then shall thou well understand that the Most High speak of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like out. Like for like as all that is made in the world has the beginning and the end, and the end is manifest. So the man, the end is shown. The end, you can see that the world is coming to an end. The way that America lets all this homosexuality go in, transhumanism, uh, peace of getting, uh, the, these missing women in Del I mean in D.C., you know, they most likely probably sacrificing them to Baal 
or some other bullshit. Um, what else is going on? What Donald Trump just did, shooting missiles on uh, into Syria, riling up the Medes, who already is getting gathering together to destroy the ass because these the, the the Russians got they just driving nukes all around they damn town man they just whipping nukes around corners and shit man I mean mobile systems man mobile intercontinental ballistic missiles they just driving them around driving them around the city I seen a, a video about that a while back I don't, I don't know how far back it was but I know it was this year they just driving missiles around, man. I'm talking about they just got a missile just driving it around town. Like, just, you know, just driving missiles around town, man. Y'all about shooting y'all shots not playing. He's finna execute judgment on y'all niggas, man. Y'all better get right with Yahweh about shooting y'all shot. Yahweh is who you call God. Yahweh shot is who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, man. I don't even like to say that name. Yahweh shot, how my shot is his, his Hebrew name, his real name. His authentic name, man. His proper name. Not no damn word of God. That's not a proper name. That's a common name, man. You got to know the context, man. Just like we have common names and we have proper names. His proper name is Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. His common name is the word of God. It didn't say name him word of God when he was born. That's stupid, man. So for you that you dummies out there teaching that, man. Yahweh Shah HaMashiach not dealing with y'all. He gonna destroy y'all with that madness, man. Y'all better endure in the sound doctrine. Don't make up your own shit. Um, it's lucky. Verse six. Even so, the time, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and ending in effects and signs. And you know, uh, another sign is a so-called um, eclipse. That's a sign in the heaven. Uh, Comets, those are signs, um, because the moon was created for signs. Um, let it be for signs and seasons and days and years in Genesis, man. Um, verse seven, and every one that shall be saved and shall be uh, able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. So you got to do the work and you got to have faith because those go hand in hand. You can't believe. I mean, you can't have faith and not do works. You can't do works and not have faith. They got to be together. They go hand in hand because you, if you got faith, the scripture says faith without works is dead. So if you got faith and you're not doing the work, it's dead. But you, if you got faith and you're doing the work, that's faith. It goes hand in hand, man. You cannot have faith and not do the work. You cannot do the work and not have faith. It goes hand in hand. You need faith to do the work because faith keeps you doing the work. You see what I'm saying? Um, verse eight shall be perceived preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So Yahabah Shemal Shai has sanctified his women, basically his men and his men basically, well, because, you know, they joined together to be one and he have women that he's going to save also. I don't know if he really sanctified. Well, actually, he might have sanctified them too. I'm not sure. But uh, these men that he have sanctified, I know for sure that he have sanctified his men. And he has women that he's going to have mercy on. But to be honest, I would, he should kill all these bitches. But, you know, you got to have some um, women that when we get in the kingdom to basically repopulate the earth because that's what we got to do. Um, but, you know, the, all these bitches is just ran through, man. This shit is just not <sighs> kill all these bitches. But hey, we need we need some women to reproduce. So, hey, that's why I'm not you how about shot. That's not why I'm calling the shots. You know, that's why I'm not calling the shots. Um, but you know, if you really think about it on a logical level, yeah, we gonna need women. But I just wish those women that we have now were more pure. But y'all about shot so gonna purify them, and he gonna purify us with those new bodies. So it's really a, a win win situation. So back to these scriptures. Um, verse 9, this is the last verse. Then shall they be in pitiful cause, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. So they're going to be tormented, man. Um, just thought about a precept.
it's like yeah, I don't remember what the precept said. All I just remember two words in it. Weep no more. Description that I want to look. I'm looking for. So, like, yeah, give me one second. I'll find it. I can't remember how it's worded, though. Through the spirit, I'll probably find, I'll find it. Aha. Second Edges 2 and 27. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble in heaven is cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. So that's the scripture that I was actually looking for. So I hope y'all was edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh And I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shah. Double honor to the apostles and to the elders of great minister. And I'm going to say, Kohalo Yahweh Shah. The Wada Yahweh Shah for allowing me to keep this knowledge and to. Uh, wake me up from my my sleep. I I would like to thank him so greatly for waking me up out of my sleep because he could have easily kept me sleep and destroyed my ass when he came. But obviously, you know, I was called, but I don't know if I'm chosen. But I pray that I be chosen. And you know, the scripture says, "In that day shall they know who my chosen." You know. Second Edges sixteen. Second edge of sixteen and this is uh sixteen the second edge of sixteen and seventy three. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the golden fire. Hear me hear, O ye my beloved, saith Yahweh. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. So, you know, we ain't got nothing to worry about. How told me told us that we were gonna deliver he his written in his book that he's gonna deliver his men so so be it that's what's gonna happen we're gonna go through the fire then we're gonna be delivered so I'm gonna say shalom.